Hi guys, my name is Kalin and I am a part of the Redwig team. I am planning to make a several tutorials about rigging. Uh, my background is a Softimash XSI, but uh, Softimash now is gone. The fabric engine also is gone. And uh, this stimulated me to make this tutorial and start explaining the power of uh, Houdini's rigging system. Actually, it's very simple, but our goal is uh, to go uh, over this to this horse and building uh, um, some complex skeleton like this one with all controls and uh, make it understandable for all of us, which we don't have uh, actually a technical background and uh, let's see what we have in the inside the horse this is the actually the entire structure the bones and the helpers the implicit object that was the name in, in the soft image however <coughs> uh, first of all we have to see what uh, is a what was a constraint what type of constraint we can use here uh, what uh, kind of uh, constraint is actually provided by si uh, side effects and uh, we are our artists and we will decide which we will use in our work we can start with the simple one let's start to to see wh what kind of constraints we have actually here First of all, is a simple one, is a parent constraint. This constraint gives a kinematics to the other one, and the other one is still free to move. This is a simple parent to child constraint. It's visualized, very clear, and it's uh, the only uh, one which is spe specific uh, and. Uh, in the soft image we have a button which uh, means keep uh, uh, child compensate which is something if we have a some uh, in, if the child is not in the center and we want to, to parent it uh, if we do it like this the child it will be moved we have to push this uh, to be compensate uh, from the of course we have to do it to the child not to the father itself here and now the child is compensated of course we can say uh, can reset the, the transform to use the uh, to default to be a zero zero and we can clear it but always we can say extract pre-transform and we see it what is actually the the um, offset of the uh, child. This is the first one, it's a very simple. Use it, I use it very common. Uh, the second one is when we use an uh, expression. Actually uh, this is uh, very simple. We grab the father transforms and uh, we have to say extract by transform because the child was moved. Onset. We hide this one. Uh, we take all the father's transforms and copy it and paste it to the child. And we have what we see here: the channels of the father are now a relative reference for the ch uh, for the child. I would take this can be done for the movements, but not for the. Uh, um, rotation but uh, if you want it of course we can take grab the rotation and link it to the father uh, this is not a uh, visual at the first time we can we have to show it show the um, uh, the link and that's it. here we are the link is I think is quite obvious and you, you can use it actually if we make animation the cool thing and this and when I select the child I can 
transform the child and if my animation is uh, put to automatic we will see that um, uh, the child will give the transform to the to the father and doesn't matter which one of those will you selected this is the second uh, length between two objects of course there is a uh, several more ways uh, but uh, more important is uh, to uh, for me and I think is a better uh, usage of the chops we have to use chops if we want to layer it um, transform we of course we can do it here uh, just have to say subtract the next channel or divide this uh, plus uh, the channel of the other object but this is not so visual you have to click it you see one uh, link and that's all uh, the chops is other uh, other thing is actually a network entirely dedicated uh, for a channel operator uh, here here we can fetch all needed channels it it uh, even can be a some parameter because the channel is a, a specific float parameter and uh, we can say let's uh, do the new one uh, the copy of this, those and those will be hided we will destroy the link between those oh, and reset it okay we have this oh, of course this one and we have a clean setup they are ready to be linked through the chops let's say we want torus to give a transform to the sphere okay go here we can search the object through this browser of course torus 3 will give the transform to the we write the export node to the sphere tree and now if we see we have a bunch of uh, channels because the fetch says grab everything everything mean all those parameters we see that the, uh, the Houdini already saw, uh, show us that there is a connection the I drive something or I, I take something from here and but not, not more but uh, if you have a very complex skeleton structure you will want all bones to be in one place and they can um, share the some values between them uh, but I will start to show you actually you saw all those parameters all keyable parameters was imported here in the chops and uh, the order uh, you see the order the TX TY is going in the four and the five uh, six placed and sixth placed and uh, this is a, a little bit problem because they executed in the same way and if you we want to um, slave the, the sphere uh, we want only TX or TY uh, or all the kinematics actually to be only uh, slaved, uh, constrained. That's why I prefer to, to say to, uh, to to take only the channels what I need because the chops is uh, um, you calculate all others um, for optimizing we will take T Y let's start with T X of course T Y and T Z let's uh, grab the um, rotation at, uh, as well uh, X, R, Y and ARZ we'll take this one and go here and paste it and we see that we have uh, only RX, R, T, Y and RZ and T, T, Y and Z however and this is the flag when we 
if we go up nothing is actually happening if we move this one is everything freely but when we have something override overridden here the on the all parameters goes orange and the do, do, how to do this we have to push this flag and that's it this is a simple constraint uh, what is the disadvantage of this the uh, the now the child uh, to, to animate this uh, child is a little bit, uh, a little bit um, is not okay is is a little bit uh, hidden it's actually do not animate the overridden parameters it is not okay uh, we have uh, in soft image uh, we have a pose uh, constraint uh, which was a very brutal constraint doesn't uh, allow any movement of the child here is not is not uh, the same uh, beer if I can say that uh, here we, we can s uh, select the child actually and paste it uh, like in this when we use the script paste the transform um, back to the father uh, but when we start animating the, the overridden parameter is always something mm, is not cool to use it like that uh, but what we can uh, have when we use chops let, let, let's see what is the advantage of, the, uh, of this type when we have uh, the fetched channels actually we can add it the other we can blend uh, between two uh, between two, two objects like, like something like a two-point constraint if we take torus torus for all and we can put it something somewhere here and uh, goes here and duplicate the fetch and say that this is a torus object for what we have for now nothing because we don't <laughs> Uh, take the the object actually we have to st start the to create uh, some parameters and now we have a blend operator created for this one and for this one we can the say the influence of each of those when they are uh, equal to one or uh, actually uh, the Houdini divide and make an average between those okay bye for now